Hello, Fisa Jenkins, and welcome to this YouTube channel. My name is Marco, and today we are going to do again stepped breakdown with advanced level class. Without the music, I'm going to give you some tips and advices on how to achieve this choreography really easily. If it's your first time on this YouTube channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notification bell to have all the videos that you want on this YouTube channel. Guys, we're going to have a symmetrical choreography, 16 counts on the left and 16 counts on the right. I'm going to just explain you some critical points in this choreography. We're going to start just with two step knees. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Okay. So what did I did? I added my count number five instead of having my count number four because I'm going to have this in my choreography. Okay, so one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, great. Now that I have this, I want to just march a little bit and have my count number five normally on my choreography. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, great. Easy to do. Let's just add some straddles. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. Easy. There is no, for now, there is no um, traps. Let's do it one more time. A little bit faster. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. Now that I have this, instead of doing my knee on the count number five, I'm going to have a digger directly, a ball change, and then a knee, and then add just a Stomp of a baby mambo. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Yet again. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Yet again. Ta, 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 and I'm casually done. So what did I did? I just replaced it, my knee when I had my ball change to cancel, okay, so to have a symmetrical choreography. If I don't, don't do this, I'm going to have a symmetrical choreography, which is not great for my structure of my map and my choreography. Choreo, 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 okay? Five, six, seven, Eight. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two. Baby mambo, baby mambo. Same thing. Go the other side. Hop, hop, hop. Ball change. Here you have two baby mambos on the floor. Here you're done, guys. Cool. There is no trap. Like I said, just add some baby mambos on the floor. Baby mambo is a, a two baby mambos adding the baby mambo is three counts. If you have two baby mambos is six counts. Now that I have this, what I want to do, I want to just change a notch. I want to have a little bit of different in my choreography. So I'm going to use the same pattern as yesterday, which is one, two, jump, tap. Okay. So now I'm going to complicate a little bit my choreo. Five, six, Seven, eight. One, two, and three. Four and five and six. Seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. You, you see now you have speed, speed, speed. Okay? This is the most important thing that now you're going to have some speed. And if you have this speed, you need to be prepared for it. Okay? Be focused. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three. Four and five and six. Seven, eight, and one, two. I was not focused because I was talking to you. <laughs> Don't worry, it's my fault. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, great. 
The same thing applies to the other side. So I have one, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, great. Now the difficult part is using our knee to change a little bit of our orientation. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you need to orientate yourself, do the tap both sides. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, great. You have it? Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, if you're sure, let's just do it one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have, now I am having here, and then just add here. Okay, the same thing applies to the other side. Hop, hop, ta, 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 hop. The first one is going to be here, and the second one is going to be on the floor, and step touch. Yes, I think so. Let's just do it one more time for me and for you. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. The same on the other side. Ta, 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 ta. Jump, sorry. Ta, 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 ta. Hop, hop, hop. And you're done. Now that I have this, what I want to do, I want to go to the other side with my knee, okay? So I have my knee when I did this. So I have one, two, hop, hop. Now I'm going to on the other side, okay? And then I'm going backwards. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, and five, and six, seven, eight, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step, touch, you're done. Whew. Cool, cool choreography. Okay, let's just do it one more time with a little bit of movement, fun, and then we are done. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ta, 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 hop, ta, 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 hop, hop, hop on the floor, hop, and then you're done. Yes, so the, the critical point is which here, when you have this pa, ta, 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 now you have your knee, so you need to go here, be strong, boom, be strong here to go on the other side, okay? So the, the thing is, what is important here is how you turn. So if you turn like this on the heel, you're going to injure yourself, okay? First, why? Watch out for the mechanics of the knee. So if you turn on the heel, what you're going to do, you're going to put a pressure here, and then you have a turn, a twist, okay? So you have a twist here, you need to know that your knee is what? It's a, a flat surface with two balls that are going here, okay? Which we call condyles. Okay, so if your condyles are, have pressure here, it's a mechanical thing, okay? When I'm doing this, I have putting the pressure, watch carefully, I'm putting the pressure on my tibial plateau here, okay? And my condyle is going here. So if I put this pressure here, what I'm going to turn, I'm going to put the pressure on my meniscus, okay? So to, uh, to avoid this, what I want to do, I want to here, because I have the pressure, but when I'm turning, and when I'm turning with my hips, I'm not going to have the same pressure. And on the other side, I have a little bit of a tension here in the muscle, so the muscle can prevent this from happening. So you need to be strong on your ball change when you are turning, okay? You cannot do heel, heel turn, okay? Because beam, you're going to have the injury, okay? In some cases you can do it, but your feet must be flat on the floor. And like I said, you're not turning always on the heel. It's just sometimes you have a heel turn, okay? But in this case, you can really injure yourself if you're not ready to do them, okay? So this being said, when you turn, you need to turn on your 
ball change, okay? You need to turn on your ball change. It will help you have this momentum in here upwards and then it will just um, avoid the pressure on the knee, okay? So this was my uh, anatomic uh, course. If you want more, click below. <laughs> so let's do it one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. So I have one, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Step, touch, you're done. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Like I said before, if you have any questions, comments, do it below. Tell me about if, tell me about if you, if you did this choreography differently. I'm eager to know. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow for the next choreo and have fun. Bye-bye.